Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. So I tried to upload a video yesterday about fire equals God's judgment. And I feel that the Holy Spirit led me here yesterday, but the video will not load. Um, so I'm going to try again and try to make it a little shorter. So I was led to Ezekiel uh, 10, and the reason that God's glory had left the temple um, was because of um, the idolatry in the temple. Um, if you see here, well, let me just try to shorten this up a little bit. And what they're talking about here is um, idolatry, which God is completely against. Um, so he had to withdraw himself from the temple. And he, um, it's talking about the glory of God, which um, I've tried to share in about 19 or 20 other subscribers from my channel have been receiving. Um, the glory can come in um, gold dust, diamond dust, and also in the form of a cloud. It is the presence of, of God, um, the presence of God. So I was read, uh, led here, Ezekiel 10, I looked and I saw the likeness of a throne, of sapphire above the expanse that was over the head of the cherubim. The Lord said to the man, clothed in linen, go in among the wheels beneath the cherubim, fill your hands with burning coals from among the cherubim, and scatter them over the city. As I watched, he went in. Now, the cherubim were standing on the south side of the temple when the man went in, and a cloud filled the inner court. That's the glory, the cloud. It is the presence of God. Then the glory of the Lord rose above the cherubim and moved to the threshold of the temple. And by the way, I want to point out, I was also reading about the cherubim, and they are um, the large angels that attend to God. The cloud filled the temple, and the court was full of the radiance of the glory of the Lord. The sound of the wings of the cherubim could be heard as far away as the outer court, like the voice of God Almighty when he speaks. When the Lord commanded the men in linen, take fire from among the wheels, from among the cherubim, the man went in and stood beside the wheel. Then one of the cherubim reached out his hand to the fire that was among them. He took up some of it and put it into the hands of the man in linen, who took it and went out. Under the wings of the cherubim could be seen what looked like the hands of man. Okay, and um, you can read further there. I wanted to point that out. Also, um, this is because they defiled the temple, okay? Um, and this is um, talking about cherubim here. The association between the uh, presence of God and the throne. The cherubim are on the Ark of the uh, Covenant. Okay, and I'll add a, a little information about that on the link. But I wanted to point out there are complementary scriptures on this. Um, Genesis 19.24. This is what I like, like about my study Bible. I do, however, have uh, King, King, two King James versions, actually. So Genesis 19.24. Here we go. Um, then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. And it says over here, what would make burning sulfur fall on the city? Um, archaeological evidence indicates that Sodom and Gomorrah were buried beneath the shallow waters of the southern part of the Dead Sea. And if you see map one, I probably put it back in the back of my Bible, but I can get it out again. Um, and it says um, at the back of the Bible, we know that there are deposits of asphalt and sulfur still found in the area. The Lord may have used an earthquake with volcanic-like results to judge these cities. Okay. After I did the video yesterday, I thought it would upload, and I took put everything away. So Deuteronomy 32, 22. Here we go. For a fire has been kindled by my wrath, one that burns to the realm of death below. I will devour the earth and its harvest and set afire the foundations of the mountains. And then Amos 1 and 2. That's Isaiah. That's another. 
Let's see if that was map one, though. My maps uh, came out because I was using the, the my Bible so much. No, that's not the same map. Pardon me. And Amos 1 and 2. Now, this is um, the chapters of Amos 1 and 2, but I want to point out here, um, this is judgment on Israel's neighbors. You'll see here, I will send fire upon the house of Hazel that will consume the fortresses of Ben-Hadad. Then you go down here further, and it says, Gaza, even for I will not turn back my wrath. I will send fire upon the walls of Gaza. Okay. I will send fire upon the wall of Tyr. I'm just skipping through and showing you. I will send fire to the walls of Rabath. I will send fire t upon Moab. Okay. And that's what I love about this study Bible. I realize that um, a lot of people are completely set upon King James, but I read this because this helps me because it has the commentary on the sides and it, ha and it helps lead me to other scripture. And, um, but I just wanted to share that with you. Also, I had a word on um, August 10th um, that I did a video on, but the same Amos, Amos 1, seven. I will send fire on the walls of Gaza that will consume her fortresses, okay? So I just wanted to share what the Holy Spirit have put upon my heart, and I do apologize that it didn't upload, but I was having all kinds of trouble yesterday. Um, because of, you know, my stuff doesn't upload. And the other thing is, I'm trying to find that map for y'all. The other thing is, um, I couldn't even do a live prayer feed because it cut me off after about 30 seconds. So I'm trying not to keep this as long. I'm trying to find a map for you. I do apologize. I had it all together yesterday, which is probably why I had the 18-minute um, long video. But I've seen other people have videos where they are, you know, hour hour and a half long. So, <laughs> God bless you all. Um, the map was just a map of Sodom, where Sodom and Gomorrah was. Uh, no big deal, but um, God bless you all, and I'm praying for all of you. Have a blessed day. Amen.